let us look at some examples of factorization or to factorize. Now, <coughs> factorization uh, is the opposite of expansion and uh, factorization means to put them in brackets. So, for some of you this does not make sense, so I will explain what I mean. So, this <coughs> when I look at 8 and 16, I look at which is the number that goes in 8 and 16. So, well, you say 2 goes in 8 and 16. So, I'll say, well, can you think of a bigger number than 2? So, I can, can say, okay, you should be good in tables, okay? That's why knowing your tables at least up to 10 is very important. So, you can 4 goes in 8 and 4 goes in 16. So, I'm going to write this 8m and 16 in terms of 4. So, what do I mean? So, I can write this as 4 times 4m. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 4 times. 4 times what? 4 times what is 8m? 8m. Plus, I can write this as 4 times 4. So, this is the highest common factor. 4 is here and 4 is here. So, in factorization, basically what you do is you factor out the highest common factor. So, this is the highest. 4 is the highest common factor in 8 and 16 or in this first term and the second term. So, you can, if you factor out 4, you can write inside the bracket what is not common, which is 2m from here and the plus is here. So, you put a plus here and 4, just like that. You can't do anything more and this is your answer. That is it. Now, how to check your answer? To check your answer, you go backwards. That means you expand this and check whether you are getting this. So, I will write this again. This is my answer, 2m plus 4. So, how will you check it? Expand the bracket. So, this is same as 4 times 2m plus 4 times 4. Always good to check your answer. So, 4 times 2m is 8m and plus 4 times 4 is 16. So, this and this are the same. <coughs> this and this are the same, so you can be happy. Okay, let me use a different color now. So, which now, which is the highest number which goes in 12 and 10? So, you say, well, 2 is the highest number, so can I write this as in terms of 2? So, yes, I can. So, 2 times 6m minus 2 times 5n. So, you factor out the 2 and then you write what is so this is the common factor or highest common factor this is 6m minus 5n close the bracket and this is the answer that's it okay how will you check again let me use a different color check okay check mate or check okay check is let me write the answer again so two times so this is an exercise for div expanding and uh, factorizing okay so by checking you can also practice your factorize sorry expanding skills so this is 2 times 6m minus 2 times 5n which is 12m minus 5 sorry minus watch it from there think about it minus 10n so these two are smiling at each other so, this and this are smiling at each other, so you should be happy. Okay, moving on. Minus 9x squared minus 18xy. So, I'm going to write, I can see minus 9 goes in minus 9 and minus 9 goes in. Minus 9 goes in 18. So, I'm going to write this as minus 9 times so x. Okay, let me write this. x times x. And I'm going to put a plus here. I'll explain why. Plus, plus, minus, because plus and minus is minus, isn't it? So I'm going to write minus 9 times x times 2 times y. Can you understand what I'm doing? This is minus 9 times 2 is minus 18. And you get a plus here. Okay. Let me put the, I'll remove the plus here. Because that will be, that can be confusing, yeah? Okay, so let me delete this. The plus can be confusing, so I don't want to confuse you. So I'm going to write as minus 9 times 2 times x times y, just like that. So what is common? <coughs> Identify the common factor. So you've got a minus 9 here, you've got an x here, you've got a minus 9 here, you've got an x here. 
So the next step, I'm going to change color. So can I write this as minus 9x times x? And can I write this as minus 9x times 2y? And if I put a plus here, it doesn't matter because uh, to explain that, I'll explain here. So let me scroll up a little. Suppose, what did I do here? Let me delete this. See, uh, only, uh, to now suppose uh, phi plus minus 2 is same as phi minus 2, which is 3. Let me show this on a calculator. Plus minus means minus. So let me get a calculator out. This is menu run. Okay, so let me show you the question. What I'm saying is phi plus minus 2 is what? 3. Because, okay, uh, <clears throat> you go phi, take, a, uh, okay, phi, okay, any number, suppose say 10 plus minus 8 is same as 10 minus 8. The answer would be 2. Okay, so 10 plus minus is same as 10 minus 8. I hope it's clear. Okay, so this, if I want to complete this, so this, that's why I put a plus here, because plus and minus gives you this minus. So if you factor out this minus 9x, let me change color, if you take out the minus 9x out, you'll have x from here plus 2y. And this is where most of you can go wrong, okay? You students tend to write minus here. So how will I check the answer? Always check your answer. So it's minus 9x times x plus 2y. So this becomes minus 9x times x plus minus 9x times 2y. <coughs> this is minus 9x squared plus and minus is minus 18xy. So uh, so is the question same? Yeah, you got minus 9x squared minus 18xy. So let me put a star there. So this star is smiling at this star. So you're happy. Okay, finally, this question. Okay, so can I write this as phi? Draw a line here. Can I write this as phi times x times x times y minus phi times 4 times x times <coughs> y times y. So let us underline the common factors. You've got a phi here, you've got a phi here. You've got an x here, you've got an x here, you've got a y here, you've got a y here. So can I write this in terms of the highest common factor? So I can write this as 5 xy times x. Okay, can you see 5xy times x minus 5xy times 4y. <coughs> so what can you factor out? I can factor out this 5xy. So that's the highest common factor. So if you factor out 5xy, you'll have x from here, you've got a minus here, 4y from here. I hope you can do the checking yourself and uh, so let us do the checking fast okay so this is okay it's always good to check so this is 5xy times x minus 4y let us do in in your head 5xy times x okay that is 5x squared y minus first multiply the numbers 5 times 4 is 20xy squared and these two are smiling at each other. So this is and this are the same. So you should be happy. See you in the next video.